Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. <clears throat> you know me, man. Just chillaxing. If you get a chance, go um check out that RNS 24. Um, it was funny last night after the after the stream yard. Me and T was on there for a while. Um, Q and Valentine hopped right on that bin. When Uncle Frank and them about to hop off. So get you a good little laugh, man. Get you a real good laugh, you dig? Now. Now, the thing is, when we have these stream yards and everything, um, people tend to go left. And the thing is, that's cool, you go left. But I guess you think, because um, I'm not an internet dude, and everybody that I usually have on there, they're not internet dudes either. You know, we, we have our fun, we chill, we debate about stuff, you know. But you ain't but you don't have to brag about about murder rates or murder that or you gonna do this because you're not gonna do it. We just gonna make that clear. Y'all don't know me, I don't know y'all. And all I ask is everybody be respectable because we're all black men coming together doing something big, which is conversating about the daily events conversating about what's real, what's not real, talking about the BS that they're feeding us every day. And a lot of it be, be towards our children. You dig? Be towards our children. It's towards the women that we love or the family, the brothers that we love, everything. So we got to keep that down, man. You know, we don't need none of that. You know, if you feeling like you tough like that, then you need to go to another stream. They they have people in there where they go back and forth. They talk about they'll come see you and all that. They allow that stuff. On this page, we won't do that. <laughs> now that we cleared that up. Doing, bro. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. Allergies, man. Now that we got past that, going into this season, you know, everybody, um, everybody's getting crazy, going crazy for football. And that's understandable. The Tennessee Titans are looking dangerous. They're going to be fine. They're going to be solid. The Colts with them not having a quarterback is really um, messing their team up. They don't have a solid QB. Um, I've always said I felt like they should have kept um, Jacoby Brissett. Because the thing about Jacoby was Jacoby stayed healthy. Not only that, he could control the offense, but you know how it is. Now, Tampa Bay basically looked like they have not missed the beat. Um, that was from a few people I've talked to. I didn't get a chance to watch their game because I'm out in Texas. So I haven't really seen their games. I'm going to try to look at it um, today. I have a website I can go to and look at the replays of the games and see what's up. Come on, man. Turn. God dang, boy. People be taking 50 years to turn. So that's going to be interesting. Um, um, I'm 
looking for big things in the, in the AFC North. I mean, for the Patriots, everybody is jumping on this Matt Jones trade. I mean, train. And I just, I don't know, man. We'll see. Matt Jones just does not move the needle for me. He probably moves it for you guys, but he don't move the needle for me. I think people are over glorifying him too fast. You guys are over glorifying all these rookies. You need to give them a chance to actually play in a game where the bullets are flying. When the bullets are flying out there, it's a whole different game. It's different. It's like to it's like on a whole nother another pattern, a whole nother page. And this isn't no um and this isn't no diss to um what's his face? Okay, think it's played on. Um, this is no diss to um Mac Jones, but we gotta see more during the season. Now they are leading a campaign to get rid of Cam out of there. And see, this is the double standards I'm talking about. They don't give the brother man when he's latter in his career a chance to do what he has to do. Now, Mac Jones throwing the ball, he looks decent. He looks good, but I think you guys are overstepping things, jumping over things. So, you know, we, we'll see. You know, that's the thing. That's the beauty about football. You never know what it's going to be like the next season because now people know who you are. People know what you're going to do. Cam is finally healthy, so we get to see what he does. We're going to see if he can um, get a chance to do what he does on the field. You know, when the game starts, we'll know. We'll see if he's up to par or he's not. Now, now, Zach Wilson. For the Jets, we're gonna see what he do. The um the Jets defense look good. People are saying it looks good. Valentine, shout out to him. He said that their defense is on point. Like I said, I don't. What I watch in preseason is the talent and the depth that a team has, you know. And I go from there because it don't matter what your record is in preseason. It's not gonna matter when the season starts. Now, we're going to see how Tua plays under fire. Because <laughs> he's looked okay before he threw that pick in that game. So, we're, we're going to see, you know, what he does. You know, we, we got to see what Tua is made of. We got to see if Tua is the goods. Because, to me, I'm not sold on Tua. I'm not. I'm not sold on him. I wasn't sold on him in college. We'll see what he's made of. Um, there's people who are fans of Tua. To me, he's a poor man's um, Pennington, Chad Pennington. That's just me. So, you know, we'll see. You know, I don't I don't want people, like I said, I don't want people to come here and be like, man, you said Tua want this and that. And it's like, I didn't say that. I'm not saying that about Tua. All I'm saying is let's wait and see. We don't know how good Tua can be with the full season under his belt. And now people has tape on him. He's coming into games talking about it's easy. Like it's easy for him to complete the passes and to do certain things. And I'm like, okay, well, we have to see what he's made of when it actually gets serious. And I think people love to forget that. I don't know why they forget that, but this is football. It's not for long. It is called not for long. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. 
because I don't know. I don't know how great he could be. You know. So, you know, we, we got to see. We don't know. We definitely don't know. So it's a wait and see, man. We don't know. You got people talking about, man, it's going to be this. They're going to be this. It's like, man, we don't know. But I want to hear what y'all think. We also had a debate. I'm going to talk about it. Baker Mayfield or Josh Allen. You got people who pick Baker over Josh. And, you know, we'll see. Josh Allen signed that 200 some 238 million and <laughs> think 100 and some 50 guaranteed. Bills Mafia came out of nowhere talking about don't diss our quarterback. He raw. He better than Lamar. <laughs> I'm like, all right, we'll see. He had one good season. Lamar had three. But they just can't stand for brother man to be on top. They gotta hate on brother man. But we'll see. Um, we got to talk about that. Baker, Josh Allen. I got to do a video on that. That'll be a great comparison. That'll be a great comparison. Um, I believe Baker's a little more accurate. Um, Josh is better throwing on the run. So we'll see, man. It figures. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to try to drop a couple more content out before I go back to work tomorrow. <laughs> try to um, try to see what's up with y'all. Thank you guys for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you love what you hear, you can donate to the page by cash apping me at the word welcome, the number two, and then HDI TV. Thank you all for listening and supporting the page. We out. Deezy.